Hello, may I speak to Alice, please? This is she. How's it going? I've been trying to call you all day. Sorry about that. I was cleaning up. It's okay. So, what were you calling me about? Oh, I just wanted to see if you wanted to hang out tomorrow. Sure. What did you want to do? Maybe we can go see a movie or something. That sounds like fun. Let's do it. I'll see you tomorrow then. See you then. Goodbye. Hi. How are you? Is Alice there? Speaking. What's up? Why haven't you answered the phone? My bad. I had chores to do. That's all right. What was the reason for your call? I wanted to do something tomorrow with you. Sounds good. What did you have in mind? I was thinking about seeing a movie. Okay, let's go see a movie. Until then. Talk to you later. Is Alice available? You're talking to her. I've called you a hundred times today. I was busy doing something. I apologize. No problem. Did you need something? Did you want to do something tomorrow? Is there somewhere special you wanted to go? How about a movie? A movie sounds good. Call me tomorrow then. I will see you tomorrow. Have you seen the new girl in school? No, I haven't. She's really pretty. Describe her to me. She's not too tall. Well, how tall is she? She's about five feet even. What does she look like, though? She has pretty light brown eyes. I may know which girl you're talking about. So you have seen her around? Yes, I have. There's a new girl in school. Have you seen her yet? I haven't seen her yet. I think that she is very pretty. Tell me how she looks. She's kind of short. What height is she? She's probably about five feet. That's nice, but tell me what she looks like. The first thing I noticed was her beautiful brown eyes. I think I might have bumped into her before. Are you telling me that you you've seen her before? I believe so. Have you met the new girl? No, have you? She's one of the prettiest girls at the school. What does she look like? Well, she's quite short. How tall would you say that she is? I would say she's only five feet. What about her facial features? She has light brown eyes, absolutely beautiful. I think I know who you're talking about. Have you seen her? I think that I have. Why weren't you at school yesterday? I wasn't feeling really well. What was wrong with you? My stomach was upset. Do you feel better now? I don't really feel too well yet. Do you want anything to make you feel better? No, thanks. I already took some medicine. I hope you feel better. Thank you. What reason do you have for missing school? I was sick. How were you sick? I had a stomach ache. Did it get any better? I'm still feeling under the weather. Would you like anything for your stomach? I took something earlier. Get better. Thanks a lot. Why didn't you go to school yesterday? I stayed home because I wasn't feeling well. What was your problem? My stomach was bothering me. Are you feeling any better? I'm still feeling a little sick. I'm going to the store. Would you like any Pepto Bismol? I'd appreciate that. Did you hear the good news? No, I haven't. I got a promotion at my job. Did you really? Seriously, I am so excited. Well, congratulations. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Really? Yes, you really deserve this. You think so? Yes, good for you. Have you heard my good news? You haven't told me anything yet. I got a promotion at work earlier this week. Is that right? It's the truth. I am really happy. Congra congratulations on your promotion. Thank you very much. I am really excited for you. Are you really? I'm serious. You deserve this promotion. Is that what you really think? Yes, I do. I haven't told you what happened yet, have I? I haven't heard anything. My boss offered me a promotion, and I took it. Are you serious? Yes, I am really excited. That's great. Congratulations. I appreciate that. You have no idea how happy I am for you. For real? I believe you were the best choice for that promotion. I really do. 
You look really nice today. Thank you. I just got this outfit the other day. Really? Where did you get it? I got it from Macy's. It's really nice. Thanks again. You look nice today, too. Thank you. I just got these shoes today. Really? What kind of shoes are they? These are called All Star Chuck Taylors. I really like those. How much did they cost? They were about $40. I think I'm going to go buy myself a pair. I absolutely love what you're wearing today. You do? I just bought this outfit a couple days ago. Seriously, it looks really nice on you. Where did you buy it from? I bought it from the Macy's at the Santa Anita Mall. I really like that outfit. Thanks. I think you look nice today, too. Thank you. I just bought these new shoes earlier today. Those are nice. What are they? These are some Chucks. Those are great. How much were they? I got them for $40. I think I might go and find me my own pair of Chucks. I think that you look very cute today. Is that right? This is a brand new outfit. What store did you get it from? I went to Macy's and picked it out. I love your outfit right now. Well, I think you look nice today, too. Thanks. I found these new shoes earlier at the store. I think that those are some really nice shoes. What kind are they? These are Chucks. Your shoes look really nice. How much did you get them for? They only cost me about $40. I'm going to get a pair for myself. Tell me, what do you enjoy doing in your spare time? I enjoy drawing and painting. You know how to draw and paint? Yes, I do. When did you learn how to do that? I learned back in high school. Oh, so you took an art class? Yeah, I love that art class. I see that you're pretty talented. Thank you very much. I wish I had a talent like that. I'm sure you have a talent, it's just hidden. What kinds of things do you like to do? I've always liked to draw and paint. I didn't know you knew how to draw and paint. I do it every once in a while. How long have you known how to do that? I first learned how to do it in high school. Did you take some sort of art class or something? That was my favorite class. You have got to be talented. Thanks. If only I was talented. You have talent. You just don't know... What it is yet. Are there any hobbies you do? When I have time, I sometimes draw and paint. Oh, you actually do that? Every so often I do. Did you always know how to draw and paint? I was taught in high school how to draw and paint. You had an art class? Exactly. It was my favorite class. Well, it's good that you're so talented. I appreciate that. Talent is a great thing. I wish I had one. Everyone has talent. They just need to find it. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Super Bad. Oh, why is that? It's the funniest movie that I've ever seen. That's true. It is a very funny movie. You've seen it before? Yes. I saw that movie the first day it came out in theaters. Didn't you laugh through the whole movie? I did. Me too. That movie brought tears to my eyes. Mine too. I have it on DVD at my house if you want to come over and watch it. Sure, let's go. Which movie is your favorite to watch? I have to say my favorite movie is Super Bad. Is that right? Why? Honestly, it is one of the funniest movies I've seen in a long time. You're right. That movie is hilarious. I didn't think you saw that movie. I went to see it the day it came out. I was laughing through the whole movie. I couldn't help laughing either. Same here. I bought the movie. Would you like to come to my house and watch it? Of course. Out of every movie that you've seen, which one is your favorite? I'm going to have to say that Superbad is the best movie ever. You think so? How come? Well, super bad is super funny. You're not lying. I found that movie absolutely hilarious. I didn't know that you saw super bad before. I made sure to be in line to see it the first day it came out. I couldn't keep from laughing throughout the whole movie. I was laughing hysterically the whole time. My stomach muscles hurt afterwards. 
That's exactly how I felt. I got the movie when it came out on DVD. Do you want to come over? I would love to. What type of music do you listen to? I like listening to different kinds of music. Like what, for instance? I enjoy rock and R&B. Why is that? I like the different instruments that they use. That's a good reason to like something. Yeah, I think so too. What kind of music do you enjoy listening to? I enjoy listening to all kinds of music. What kind? I like to listen to rock and R&B. Why do you like that type of music? I like the kind of instruments that they use. I think that's an excellent reason to like something. Thanks. I feel the same way. What is your favorite kind of music? I listen to various types of music. What genres? I enjoy listening to both rock and R&B. What interests you in that type of music? I enjoy the different types of instruments that they use. That is a perfect reason to like a certain kind of music. That's exactly what I think too. Did you go to the basketball game on Friday? No, I couldn't make it. You missed a really good game. Oh, really? Who won? Our school did. They played really well. Too bad I was busy. I really wanted to go. Yeah, you should have. It was really exciting. So what was the score? The score was 101 to 98. Man, that was a really close game. That's what made it so great. I'll make sure and make it to the next one. Were you able to attend Friday night's basketball game? I was unable to make it. You should have been there. It was intense. Is that right? Who ended up winning? Our team was victorious. I wish I was free that night. I'm kind of mad that I didn't go. It was a great game. What was the score at the end of the game? Our team won 101 to 98. Sounds like it was a close game. That's the reason it was such a great game. The next game I will definitely be there. I was meaning to ask you if you saw the basketball game on Friday. I wanted to go, but I couldn't. It was a great game. It's too bad that I couldn't make it. Who won? Our team played hard and won. I really wish I went to the game. It was the best game ever. So tell me the final score. The other team lost by 3 points, 101 to 98. It must have been a close game. It really was. You should have gone. Hopefully I'll make it to the next one. What are you doing this weekend? I'm going to the movies with a friend. How about you? I'm not sure yet. Well, did you want to go see a movie with me? What movie are you going to see? I'm not sure yet. Is there something you want to see? There's nothing I can think of. So, did you want to go? No, thanks. Maybe another time. Okay, sounds good. Do you know what you're going to do this weekend? I'm going to see a movie with a friend of mine. What about you? I don't know. Would you like to see a movie with me and my friend? Do you know what movie you're going to watch? I don't know, but was there a certain movie you wanted to see? None that I can think of. Well, would you like to go? Thank you for inviting me, but I think I'll pass. All right. Another time then. You have any ideas as to what you want to do this weekend? I'm going to the movie theater with my friend. What are you going to do? I'm not quite sure yet. How about you see a movie with me and my friend? What movie are you and your friend planning on watching? Not sure. Is there a movie out that catches your eye? No good movies come to mind. Have you decided whether or not you would like to go? No thanks, maybe another time. For sure, another day. Did you go to school today? Yeah, I went to school today. Were you there? No, I didn't go. I've been sick. That sucks. Do you want the assignments from English class? That would be nice. Thank you. No problem. You're welcome. I will be glad to do the same for you when you're sick. Well, thank you. I hope to see you at school tomorrow. Have you attended school today? I attended school today. Did you? 
I wasn't able to attend school because I was feeling ill. I'm sorry to hear that. Would you like the assignments from English class? I would really appreciate that. Thanks. It's no trouble at all. If you get sick, I'll return the favor. Thanks. See you at school tomorrow if you feel better. Have you gone to school today? I went to school today. Did you go to school? I couldn't go to school today. I was sick. That's horrible. I'd be happy to give you the assignments from English class. Thank you very much. That's kind of you. Don't mention it. When you miss a day of school, I'll be happy to give you the English assignments. That is greatly appreciated, and I hope you feel well enough to go to school tomorrow. Did you hear the news? What happened? Our cousin went into labor and had her baby last week. She did? Why didn't anyone tell me? I would have thought that somebody would have told you. No, I had no idea. Well, she did. Her baby was eight pounds six ounces. Oh my God, that's great! Are you going to go visit her and the baby? I think that I might. Good. I just thought I'd let you know. Thanks for telling me. Have you heard what happened? Heard what? Deborah already had her baby. I didn't know that. I thought you knew. I honestly didn't know. The baby was eight pounds six ounces. That's good to hear. Will you go and visit them? Of course I will. I just wanted to give you the good news. Thanks for letting me know. Have you heard the news? I haven't heard anything. Deborah had her baby last week. Nobody told me. I thought you heard. I really wasn't told anything. She was a cute eight pounds six ounces. Wow, how exciting! I know you should really go and see her and the baby. Of course I will. I just wanted to let you know what happened. I appreciate that. Did you go to school today? Of course. Did you? I didn't want to, so I didn't. That's sad. But have you gone to the movies recently? That's a switch. I'm serious. Have you? No, I haven't. Why? I really want to go to the movies this weekend. So go then. I really don't want to go by myself. Well, anyway, do you plan on going to school tomorrow? No, I think I'm going to go to the movies. Did you make it to school today? I always do. Did you go to school today? No, I didn't. You should have. But have you seen any movies lately? That was an odd change of subject. Maybe it was, but answer the question. No, not recently. I want to go see a movie this weekend. What's stopping you then? I don't want to go alone. So, will you be at school tomorrow? No, I want to go to the movies instead. Did you even bother to go to school today? Yeah, I went. Did you go? No, I didn't feel like it. That's nice. Have you been to the movies lately? No, but that was a random change of subject. It may have been random, but have you? I haven't lately. I would love to catch a movie this weekend. So then, why don't you just go? I don't want to see a movie by myself. Okay, so are you going to school tomorrow? I think I might just go to the movies. Thanks for coming out to see me today. It's no problem. I was really missing you anyway. I missed you too. Why haven't you tried to come see me then? I've been really busy. Doing what? Working. I would have come to see you sooner, but I've been busy too. What have you been doing? I've been working too. Well, regardless, I'm very happy that you came to see me. I am too. I'm really glad that you came to see me. I had to. I was missing you a lot. I was missing you too. So why haven't you visited me? I've actually been busy lately. What have you been doing? I've just been working really hard. I've also been busy. Tell me what you've been doing. Basically, I've been working too. Well, whatever. I'm glad you came. So am I. I'm really happy that you came to visit me. I really missed you a lot. I've been missing you like crazy. I don't understand why you haven't come to visit me. Lately, I've been quite busy. Tell me what you've been up to. 
I've really been working a lot lately. I've been pretty busy myself. So what have you been up to? I've just been working a lot. Whatever the reason may be, I'm glad you visited me. I'm glad I did too. Hey, did you hear about Jessica's party this weekend? Yeah, but I'm still waiting for my invitation. Oh, really? She gave me mine earlier today. Well, she'll probably just give me my invitation later on today. Yeah, so are you planning on going? I think so. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. It really does. I can't wait. What time does the party start? It starts at 8 o'clock. Oh, well, how many people has she given invites to so far? I'm not sure, but I don't think she's given out that many. Well, hopefully she'll give me my invitation later on today. Have you heard about Jessica's party on Saturday? I've heard about it, but I'm still waiting for my invitation. Really? I got mine from her this morning. I'm guessing that she's going to give me my invite today or tomorrow. You're probably right. Do you intend on going to the party? I want to. I heard it's going to be really fun. I know. It does sound pretty awesome. Well, when does the party start? It's supposed to start at about 8. How many invitations has she given out? I really don't know, but I don't think she gave out that many yet. I really want to go, so I hope that she gives me my invite soon. Has anyone told you about Jessica's party coming up? I was told about it already. I'm just waiting for my invitation. Is that right? I already got my invitation from her earlier. I believe that she will give me the invitation today. Are you even going to go? Yeah. It sounds like it's going to be the best party of the year. Exactly. It seems like it's going to be loads of fun. When exactly does the party start? The invitation says it starts at 8 p.m. Has she given out a lot of invitations yet? I have no idea. She hasn't given out many, though. I'm planning on going, but I really need her to give me my invitation. Hey, what's up? Nothing, really. I'm throwing a party on Friday. I didn't realize that. You didn't? Nobody has told me anything about your party. Did you want to go? When does it start? At 8 p.m. I'll be there. I'd better see you there. Of course. What's going on with you? Nothing. What's going on with you? I'm having a party this Friday. I had no idea. Is that right? I didn't hear anything about it. Can you go? What time? It starts at 8 o'clock. I'll go. I hope that I'll see you there. No doubt. What's going on? Not much. This Friday I'm throwing a party. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Are you serious? I haven't heard anything about it. Can you make it? What time does it start? The party starts at 8. Yeah, I think I'll go. Am I going to see you there? You will. What's going on? Nothing, really. You? I'm throwing a party next Saturday. Is that right? Yeah. Are you going to come? I'm sorry, I can't. Why not? I don't really want to. Well, why don't you? I hate going to parties. Well, that's okay. Yeah, sorry. What's up? Nothing. How about you? Next Saturday, I'm going to have a party. Oh, really? You are coming? Probably not. Why is that? I don't feel like going. Why not? I really can't stand going to parties. I understand, I guess. Sorry about that. What's happening? Not a lot. What about you? I'm having a party next Saturday. That's nice. Are you going to be there? I don't think so. Is there a reason why? I just really don't want to go. How come? I don't really like parties. I wish you would go, but that's okay. I'm sorry. What's up? Nothing much. What's going on? I'm having a party this Friday. Oh, really? That's nice. I wanted to see if you wanted to come. This Friday? Sorry, I already have plans. Doing what? I'm going to dinner with my family. I really wanted you to come, but I understand. 
Yeah, maybe next time. I'll hold you to that. Sounds like a plan. Hey, what's good with you? Not a lot. What about you? I'm throwing a party on Friday. That sounds like fun. Do you think you can come? I'm sorry. I'm already doing something this Friday. What are you going to be doing? My family and I are going to dinner. I was hoping you would come. I'll definitely try to make it the next time. I'd better see you there. All right. I'll see you next time. What's going on? Nothing really. How about you? A lot. Like the party I'm having on Friday. Well, that's cool. Will you be able to make it? I'm busy this Friday. I'm sorry. What do you have to do? I'm having dinner with my family. Maybe you can come next time. I'll make sure and come to your next party. I'll look forward for you at my next party. I'll be there. It was nice talking to you. Why are you trying to rush me off the phone? I really have to go. Why? I still wanted to talk to you. I have things to do. Like what? Don't be nosy. I'm not. I just want to know. Well, it's really none of your business. That's harsh. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Fine. I've enjoyed conversing with you. Is there a reason why you're trying to get off the phone so fast? I've got to go. I wasn't done talking to you. I have to do some things, and besides, it's not polite to be nosy. I'm not being nosy. I'm just asking. I really don't think it's any of your business. That's not nice. I apologize, but I'm getting off the phone now. Okay. I'll talk to you later. What's the rush? I have to get off the phone now. I'm not ready to get off the phone with you. There are other things I need to take care of. What is it that you need to do? Please don't be nosy. I'm not being nosy. It's just a question. You don't need to worry about that. That was mean to say. I am very sorry, but I must go. I guess. Well, it was nice talking to you. It was nice talking to you too. We should really hang out again. That would be fun. Where do you want to go? I think we should go out to eat. That sounds good. All right. So I'll see you then. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll talk to you later then. See you later. Bye. I enjoyed talking to you. I enjoyed talking to you too. We should hang out sometime. I think that would be nice. Is there anything you would like to do next time? Do you want to go out to eat? I'd like that. So I'll see you next time. I'm going to call you soon. I'll talk to you later. See you soon. Goodbye. I had fun talking to you. It was really nice talking to you, also. I think we should really do something sometime. That should be loads of fun. What do you want to do next time? Would you like to go to dinner or something? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Until next time, then. I'll call you so we can set that up. Talk to you then. All right. See you. See you. Hey, Diana. Why so glum? Ah,、oh, Bobby. I just lost my job. Oh no! What happened? The company is relocating to another state. That's tough, Diana. What are you going to do now? I'm looking for a new job. I need to pay my bills. Are you filing for unemployment benefits? I don't think I'm eligible. I only worked there three months. Sure, you're eligible. You worked long enough. I didn't know that. I think you only have to work for two weeks to be eligible. That's great. I hope I can get it. You'll never know until you try. Thanks, Bobby. You're a good friend. Good morning, EDD. How can I help you? Hello. I recently lost my job. Can I file for unemployment? Yes, you certainly can. How do I file a claim? The easiest way is to go online. All right, I will. What's the website? Just do a search for EDD, and you will see the site. I will, but what if I need help? There's online help, but if you still need help, call back. Okay, I will. Thank you. 
Hello, what are you doing here? Hi, I lost my job, so here I am at the EDD. That's rough. I lost my job three months ago. I didn't know that. Maybe you can help me apply. Sure, I can help. You just need some basic information about your job history. I have that information for the company I last worked for. They ask for information on all places you worked for the last 18 months. I can get that. What else do they ask? Name, residence, addresses, that kind of stuff. And most importantly, why you're not working. You mean if I quit or was fired? Yes, and be truthful. They will call your former employers. Thanks. That helps a lot. Do you know what forms I need to file an unemployment claim? You can go to an EDD office or fill out a form on their website to open a claim. Is it really that simple? It sure is. It's easier to do online. Why would I want to do it online? It's faster, and you can do it from home or wherever you have internet access. Do you know the website? Yes, it's edd.ca.gov. It's easy to use. Then what do I do? You will have to find a link that says Apply Here and click on it. Is that all there is to it? That's it. You're good to go. Good morning. How can I help you? Good morning to you. Yes, I'd like to file a claim. Okay, I can help you with that. All right, what do I need to do? The easiest way to file a claim is online. You can use our computers for that. That's wonderful. Do I need to log in? No, you don't. Our computers are connected directly to the EDD. But I don't know if I'm eligible for benefits. The EDD will make that decision. Just fill in the forms as best as you can. Thank you. I'll use the computer here to file the claim right away. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. All right, I will. Thanks once again. Did you bring the mail in today? Yeah, I got it right here. Oh, great. I'm waiting for my unemployment check. It's late. Sorry to tell you, your payment didn't come today. No way. Darn it. It's more than a week. Late. Why don't you call EDD? I think they can tell you where it is. I definitely need to call them. I think it's an automated system. Oh darn, I don't like automated systems. The EDD system is not so bad. Okay, I'll call. This is the longest the check has ever taken to get to me. If you have problems with the system, you can speak to a person by dialing zero. I just got off the phone with the EDD. What did they say? Are you going to get benefits? Yes, but not as much as I thought. What do you mean? I thought I would receive a certain amount per month, but I got less. Why is that? I'm not really sure. It has something to do with how much I earned. They pay benefits based on your income? Yes, I think the more you earn, the more you receive. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I think I may go to the EDD office to ask about it. You should go. What have you got to lose? How are you doing? Good. What's going on? Not too much. I'm on my way to the EDD. Wait a minute. I thought you found a job last month. I did. I'm not going there to file a claim. Then why are you heading out there? The EDD is hiring. That's why. Wow. That's awesome. That's a very good place to work. I know. That's why I'm going. The pay is good and the benefits are excellent. Yes, my sister works there. Good luck to you. I may have to go there myself now. Hello, my name is George. Hello, George. How can I help you? I'm trying to file a claim online, but I have questions. Okay, give me a moment and I'll go over there and help you. Hello again. Thanks for coming over. It's my pleasure. What are you having trouble with? It's this question here. I'm not sure what it is asking for. The system is asking for the reason you are no longer working. Does that make a difference? Yes, it does. We review every person's case individually. My company went out of business. Then just put company out of business. You should be okay. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you. Are you here for our workshop today? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. That's wonderful. This will help quite a bit. Will you be giving the workshop? Yes, I will, with a couple of my colleagues. How many people are you expecting? Not many, unfortunately. What do you mean? Everyone should attend if possible. This makes filing so easy. 
I'll tell my friend Joseph. He's coming tomorrow. I was hoping you could help me. I'll try. What help do you need? I'm having an interview tomorrow morning. I'm very nervous. That's great. Why are you nervous, though? I don't do well in interviews. They can be frightening, but you can do it. I'm afraid they'll ask me something I won't know. You should prepare yourself. Go online and look at their website. Now, why didn't I think of that? It's a good idea to know everything you can about them first. That's an excellent idea. You're Thanks. Well You're welcome. If you need more help, give me a call. Are you busy today? Hey Richard, are you busy today? I have a couple errands to run, but I should be done early. If you have time this afternoon, do you want to go with me? Sure, where are you going? I'm going to an open house in San Gabriel today. I didn't know you were looking for a house. I'm not ready to buy today. I'm just checking the market out. That's very smart. I want to see what I can afford. That makes total sense. Count me in. Okay. Then I'll pick you up at about 3 p.m. Is that okay? Yes, I should be done by then. Thanks. Good day. Thanks for meeting with me. You're welcome, Miss Thomas. Please sit down. Thank you. Please call me Jane. All right, Jane. You can call me Dave. I'm looking to buy a house for myself and my son. Wonderful. Buying is always a good idea. Do you rent now? I did, but for the last six months, I've been living with my mother. I see. Can I ask what you do for a living? I work for the city planning department. That's a good job. How long have you worked there? For about three years now. All right, let's get started. I'll see what we can do. The best way to buy a house is to get pre-qualified, Ms. Anderson. Why is that, Mr. Williams? By pre-qualifying, you know beforehand which house you can buy. I thought I would look at the houses first. That's okay, too, but you may be wasting your time. How so, Mr. Williams? You may find a house you really like, but can't afford it. Well, that's when I'll negotiate with the seller. Yes, that's true, but by pre-qualifying, you'll save time and effort. How is that? You'll be able to select a home you know you can afford. Okay, then we'll try it your way. Hello, this is Sam Jones. Good morning, Mr. Jones. How can I help you? I've been working with one of your realtors, and I'd like to view some homes now. Okay. Who have you been working with? I've been working with Ms. Thomas. Oh, she's an excellent realtor. I'll check her calendar. Thank you. I'm very anxious to get started. Are you free this Saturday? I think so. What time? 
She has time between 1 and 3 p.m. this Saturday the 12th. I think that will work. Let's do it. I'll be sure to confirm with both of you on Friday. Have a good day. Good evening. I'm glad you could make it. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Okay, let's get started. Sounds fine. I'm glad we're starting here. Yes, this is a great starter house. And it's in a good neighborhood. Do you know anything about the schools? This is part of the award-winning school district. That's what I wanted to hear. Let's take a look inside. Okay, let's do it. I figure we can view at least four homes today, maybe five. That's wonderful. I'm so excited. I think this house will fill all your needs, Mr. Jones. Well, I don't particularly like the neighborhood. I understand your concern, Mr. Jones, but let's take a look inside. Okay, but I'm really concerned about the neighborhood. That's okay, Mr. Jones. We're not married to this home. I guess we can look inside since we're here. Great. Let's go inside. It's a beautiful home. I don't like it already. The porch is too small. I have a big family. All right, Mr. Jones. This may not be the right house for you. That's what I've been trying to tell you. That's okay. I've got more homes to show you. That's good to hear. I hope this neighborhood is more to your liking. Yes, it definitely is. It's a little more money, but I think it's a great fit for you. As long as I can afford it. The porch is very large. I think your family will like it. That's a good place to start. This is the living area. As you can see, it's quite spacious. Uh-huh, I see. And this is the master bedroom. Sorry, it's a beautiful home, but it just doesn't feel right. What's wrong, Mr. Jones? It's the lighting, and it just doesn't feel right. Sorry. I'm sorry for being difficult. Not at all. We aim to please. It's just that this will be my family's home. It has to be right. I understand completely. So where is this next home? It's nearby. I think this is the one. I truly hope so. This is it. Wow, I like it. I thought you might. Is this in my price range? If it is, I think I just found my house. It definitely is. Let's go inside. Good day, Ms. Andrews. Can we talk? Of course, Mr. Johnson. Why don't you come into the office this afternoon? That would be fine. What's on your mind, Mr. Johnson? I want to make an offer on the First Avenue home. That's great. I'll see you at 2 p.m. Hello, Ms. Andrews. Hello, Mr. Johnson. You're right on time. I like to be prompt, Ms. Andrews. That's great. I appreciate that. I'm ready to make an offer. Okay, let's get started. Mr. Lee, the seller has made a counter offer on his home. He did not accept my original offer. Technically he did, but he has conditions. Okay, what are they? He said your offer of 325000 was a bit short. What's his counter offer? He wants 335000 and he'll throw in the appliances. I don't know. Will the appliances have a warranty? No, no warranty. I'm going to have to think about this, Ms. Phillips. Take your time. Counter offers are common. I need to talk to my wife about this. I'll get back to you. Good morning, Ms. Phillips. I have a second counter offer. Okay, Mr. Lee, what is it? I'm willing to raise my offer to $330,000. What about the appliances? I'll take the appliances, but I want a limited warranty. For how long? I think six months will suffice. Well, I know this seller personally. I think we have a deal. That's great. Are you certain? I'm very sure. I'll confirm, of course. I think congratulations are in order. I'll expect your call then. Thanks. This is Joseph Walters, the inspector. Hello, Joseph. I'm the buyer, Mrs. Smith. Hello, Mrs. Smith. I've done a preliminary check of the property. That's great. What did you find? There are some issues with this home. For instance? Structurally, the house is sound. That's a good start, Joseph. The plumbing is substandard, the water heater is old, and the roof has issues. You're kidding, right? I wish I was. I'll know more in a couple of days. Okay, keep me informed. It's time to go sign the escrow papers. I'm on my way. Give me a minute. Okay, we have some time. I'm really excited about this. This is our first home. I know. I'm also excited. I'm just glad we came to an agreement with the buyer. Me too. That negotiation was rough. 
But the realtor told me it was common. That may be true, but I didn't expect it. That doesn't matter now. We got the house. I know. When can we start moving in? Soon, I hope. Really soon. This is it. We can move in starting tomorrow. No way, really? Yep. We cleared escrow. It's officially ours now. I don't know what to say. It's time to figure out how we're going to move in. Well, I think we should rent a trailer and move the big stuff first. Yeah, that would make sense. I'll start boxing everything else. I know of a good moving company. My best friend used them last year. Are they affordable? I think so. I'll call them tomorrow morning. I still can't believe that house is ours. It's a great feeling. Now that we've found our new home, it's time to sell our old one. I know. It makes me sad. Why is that, Dorothy? I don't know. I guess it's because we've lived here so long. I know, baby, but it's time to move on. Yes, I know. The kids are all grown up now. I'll contact our realtor tomorrow. Are you going to use the same one? No, I don't think so. I think I'll try someone new. Why is that? No reason, really. I just want to check around. We're in no hurry. That's true. I'm good with that. It's time to start thinking about marketing our home. Won't our realtor do that? Yes, of course, but we can make some suggestions. What suggestions? I definitely want to have for sale sign on my lawn. That's funny. Don't all houses for sale have that? No, not really. A lot of homes are just listed on the internet. Why do you want the sign then? I think it's an effective tool in selling the house. Okay, you're the boss. We'll also have a listing online so we can reach more people. Sounds good to me. We should do well then. Hi Jennifer, it's Doug. Hello Doug, how can I help you? I'm a bit concerned with how to set an asking price for my home. Well, you shouldn't worry Doug. We will set the price accordingly. What do you mean? We are experts at this. We'll take all factors into consideration. Such as what, if I may ask? Our formula takes local pricing, comparability, and market trends into consideration. That's very thorough. We are real estate experts, Doug. I think I made the right choice to hire you, Miss Winters. Well, thank you, Doug. It's my pleasure. Hello, Mr. Rogers. How are you today? I'm doing well, Wendy. How are you? I'm great, thanks. So are you ready to make a decision? I certainly am. I'm going with your firm. Oh, that's great news, Mr. Rogers. Okay, so what's next? I have a standard contract we use. You can look it over if you like. Sure, I will. But can you give me an overview? It basically reads that you agreed to have us act as your agent. I still have the final say on the deal though, right? Of course you do, Mr. Rogers. I just wanted to be clear on that. Thanks. I must admit, Ms. Price, I'm concerned about security. Don't worry, Mr. King. We will provide the security on your home. What kinds of things do you do? We make it look like someone is living in your home while it's listed. How do you do that? We do several things. We stop deliveries, mow the lawn, and set timers. Is that all you do? No. We have our agents drop by from time to time. Oh, that's good. Yes, we take home security seriously. Thanks, Miss Price. I feel much better now. You are very welcome. Thank you. We should start fixing up the interior of our house, Angela. Why is that, Jonathan? Don't we have time? Yes, we do, but the sooner the better. I guess so. Where do we start? I think the kitchen would be best. Why would the kitchen be best? I just think it's very important room. Well, yes, I guess we spend a lot of time there. We do. Everyone does. Okay. What should we do first? How about the cabinets? They're not too expensive, and it will look good. Sounds good to me. I'll start looking into it tomorrow. It's time to start work. Okay, where do we start? The best place to start is the roof. The roof? Isn't that dangerous? Don't be afraid. As long as we're careful, we'll be all right. But I'm afraid of heights. I'll be there. Like I said, we'll be okay. Okay, I trust you. 
A good roof is very important. If it leaks, it can ruin the interior. Yes, I know. Remember Uncle Joe's house? I sure do. Let's get started. Okay, I'm ready. Good morning, Alice. Today's the big day. Yes, it is. Are we ready for this? I think so. You know I've been working on the house. I know, Richard. I guess I'm just nervous. I wouldn't worry, babe. We've worked very hard on this. Yes, I know, but still... We cleaned the house, spruced up the yard, and painted the interior. I know, Richard. I'm worried about the things we didn't do. I think we'll be okay. If something comes up, we'll deal with it then. You think of everything. No, I don't, Alice. We think of everything. You're right. We'll be ready. Good morning, Mr. Davis. Good morning, Rudy. How are you today? I'm doing well, thanks. So, what have you got for me today? I have exciting news, Mr. Davis. What is it? Did someone make an offer? Yes. I have a serious offer on your house. This may be the one. How close to the asking price is the offer? Very close. The offer is at $325,000. Wow, that's great. That's almost what we listed it for. There are a couple of conditions, though, but they're not too bad. Okay, I'm all ears. Let's go over them. I'm ready to sell. Good day, Thomas. We have an offer on your house. That's good. I hope it's better than the last one. It is, Thomas. Okay, let's hear it. The offer is $275,000. $275,000? That's $35,000 under the listing. I know, Thomas, but I think we should consider it. Why would I consider this price? We should counter offer. I think we can work with this buyer. I won't take less than $300,000. You know that. Let's consider the counter offer. The house has issues. Okay, I listen to you. Mr. Smith, we received a counter offer on your house. For which property? It's for the lot on 6th Avenue. Okay, I've been waiting for this. Yes, and I think it is a very good offer. Okay, lay it on me. The buyer upped his offer to $375,000. Are you kidding me? That's still $7,500 below list. I know, Mr. Smith, but the market is weak right now. I don't care. I'm not losing money on this. You won't be losing money, sir. I don't care. I'm not selling at that price. The counter offer we've been waiting for is here, Mr. Richards. Finally, it's been nearly three weeks. Well, these things take some time. I know, but I wasn't happy with the original offer. I think you'll be happy with this. The buyer is coming in just below list. Exactly how much? They came in at 415000 with very few conditions. Wow, that's only $10,000 below list. I didn't expect that. Neither did I, Mr. Richards. What are the conditions? They're not too bad, mostly just to fix a few minor flaws. That's great. I think we'll take this counteroffer. Do you have any news for me, Danielle? Yes, sir, I do. That's good to hear. It's been a while since I've heard from you. We not only have one offer for your home, we have two. Are they both serious offers? Yes, sir, they are. Okay, let's go over them. The best one comes from the San Gabriel couple. Why do you say that? The offers are the same in dollars, but they place no conditions on the sale. Really? They will buy it as is? Yes, sir, they will. Okay, I think we found our buyer then. My dad told me he was going to put his second house in my name. The one on Bronson Street? Yeah, that's the one. Wow, that's a nice house. Yes, it is. He wants me to start taking on more responsibilities. Well, that will do it. It's not easy managing a home. I guess not, but I won't be living in it now. So what's he doing? He's just doing a quit claim deed. What's that? It's a deed transfer changing ownership of the home. It's not a sale. No, it's usually done between family members. Honey, where are the kitchen utensils? I have no idea, Alicia. They're in one of these boxes. I can't believe how much work is involved in moving out. I didn't expect this either. I hope this is the last time we move in a while. Me too. I thought it was just a matter of calling a moving company, but wow. That's just the beginning. Everything has to be organized and packed first. It's a good thing the kids are helping. 
Yes, and your brother, too. His truck has made this easier. We've stayed in this house for a long time. Yes, it's time to move, but I don't want to go through this again. We won't, Alicia. Remember, we got the house we wanted. I think the movers are here, Brian. They're here? They are early. Yes, I know. They're an hour early. We're not ready yet. Uh, I'll tell them to come back. No, that's okay, dear. I'll go talk to them. Are you sure? Yes, they can start loading the furniture while we pack the small stuff. I guess that's okay. We'll be fine. Most of the furniture is in the front anyway. As long as they don't get in our way. I'll tell them we're not done packing. It should be okay. It better be. They're very early. I sure am. Where are you ready for dinner? I sure am. Where are we going? I thought we could try the new Italian place. Oh, that's so heavy. That's never bothered you before. I know. The food is good, but it's a ton of carbs and calories. But very tasty. We should try eating healthier. So what do you suggest? How about the Thai hut? You know I like that place too, so what's the difference? It's just not as heavy. Let's go there, okay? Are you having dinner with us tonight? Yes, I am. I will be out of work soon. Okay, I'm thinking the pasta house. Oh, that place gets crowded. Maybe we should make reservations. That's a good idea. We waited an hour the last time. Yes, it is best to do that first. What time should we set the reservation for? Well, I'll be home by 6 o'clock. Okay, I'll make the call. I'll let you know. That's great. Thanks. I hope they're not booked. We should be able to get a table. I'll call right now. Don't worry about the time. We can eat later if we have to. Welcome to the Silver Walk. How can I help you? Hello. I was hoping you have a table. We should be okay. How many guests? It's a birthday dinner. We have 12 guests. Oh, let me check if I have room for you. Your name, please. I'm Mr. Johnson. I would appreciate it. Okay, Mr. Johnson. I will have a table soon. Oh, that's wonderful. It's near the back. Is that okay? Yes, I suppose it is. I was hoping for window seating, though. I can accommodate you, but it will take a little bit more time, sir. That's okay. We'll wait. Good evening. I'm Joseph, and I'll be your waiter tonight. Hello, Joseph. Can I start you off with some refreshments? Yes, you can. I'll take a Long Island iced tea. And for the lady? She'll have the vodka martini. Those are excellent choices. How about the kids? They'll take regular iced teas. Will there be anything else? Yes, as a matter of fact. Can you bring me a beer chaser? Certainly. What kind of beer would you like? I want something imported. How about something from Mexico? Now that you have your beverages, can I offer you some appetizers? Yes, that sounds good. What do you have? We have a wide selection of tempting appetizers. May I see a menu, please? Certainly. It's on the regular menu under appetizers. Can you recommend something? Of course. The potato skins are very popular. Hmm. I don't like potatoes much. What else you got? How about some stuffed mushrooms or fried zucchini? That sounds better, but I'm still not sold. We have an appetizer platter that includes all of our selections. That sounds excellent. Let's have it. Are you ready to order? Yes, I think we are. Thank you. Okay. What can I get you? I like the look of that plate on the next table. Oh, yes, sir. That's our seafood platter. What does it come with? Fried white fish, shrimp, and scallops, along with fries and vegetables. Does it come with a salad? Of course. It comes with the soup of the day and a green salad. What's the soup of the day? Today's soup is clam chowder. Is that New England or Manhattan style? It's the creamy white New England style. Oh, that's my favorite. I'll take the soup. Waitress is... Yes, sir. How can I help you? That was an excellent meal, but we could not finish. Would you like a doggy bag to take your leftovers home? Yes, please. We would. And did you leave enough room for dessert? Dessert? Why, yes, I think so. Here is our dessert menu. Do you have a house specialty? Yes, we do. It's the apple pie a la mode. That sounds good. What kind of ice cream do you have? Vanilla, French vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. 
I'll take the pie a la mode, but put the ice cream on the side, not on top. Excellent choice. Okay, ice cream on the side. Here comes our food. I'm so hungry. It looks delicious. Here's your order. Excuse me, but I don't think this order is correct. Really? What did you order? I ordered the fried chicken. This is grilled. Let me check. Oh, yes, you did order the fried chicken. Yes, I did. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll get your order out in no time. Please do. Two of us would like to eat at the same time. If you like, I can keep your plate warm while preparing her meal. Honey, this steak looks delicious. Yes, it does, Michael. It has a nice color. Yum, it's perfectly cooked. It looks a bit rare. How did you order it? Medium rare, as always. That looks rare to me, dear. It might be a bit pink on the inside, but I don't care. This is delicious. That's all that matters, dear. I have to tell the waiter to send my compliments to the chef. That would be a nice gesture. The baked potato is also very tasty. Well, make sure you tell the chef that also. Here's your dinner, folks. Enjoy. Thank you. This looks delicious. You're welcome. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? This salmon steak tastes a little funny. Funny? In what way? I don't know for sure, but I think it might be spoiled. Not to worry. We will bring you a new steak. Yes, please do. This one turned my stomach. Oh no, are you okay? I think so, but I'm not in the mood for dinner now. That's perfectly all right. We will refund your money. That was an excellent meal, don't you think so, Judy? Absolutely. I especially liked the dessert. Yes, me too. That chocolate cake was delicious. Here comes our waitress. Hello again and thank you. That was very good. Yes, the dessert was delicious. I would like the bill, please. Her service and attitude were good also. How much are you tipping her? You're right about the service. I think 20%. 20%? That's a bit high, isn't it? I know, but the food was good and the service was excellent. You're right, dear. She deserves it. Wow, our order is sure taking long. Yes, it is. It's been nearly 45 minutes now. Well, maybe they're just very busy. I don't know, dear. I was watching our waiter. What did you see? He actually handed in orders for two tables before us. You mean after he took our order? Yes. He was goofing off. I could see him from here. How do you know he did this? Like I said, I was watching. He forgot our order. That's terrible. Yes. Well, he's not going to get to a good tip from me. Have you heard of the new burger place down the street? Yes, I have. Have you tried it? It's the bomb. The burgers are so good. Is it expensive? Not really. Not more than most places. What do you like about it? The food is great and the waitresses bring you food on roller skates. That's like those old-time drive-in places. Yes, it is. Like in the 50s. Wow. I got to go there soon. I would highly recommend it. Thanks. I'll definitely go. I just came back from eating at this new steak place. Oh, I've been wanting to go there. How was it? Don't bother going. Really? Why? It was terrible. The food was cold and the service sucked. Oh no, I was looking forward to trying it out. Like I said, don't bother. I mean, how bad was the food? It was awful. They got my order wrong and it was cold. Well, maybe it was just an isolated incident. I don't think so. I spoke to the other diners and they were disappointed too. I guess that means I have to find another place. So, what are you ordering? I'm not sure. I like their burgers. Yeah, me too. Have you tried their fish sandwich? Yuck. Yes, I have. I didn't like it. Really? Why not? It was too greasy. I think I'll get the number two instead. What's that? That's their bacon burger special. Is it good? It's very tasty. They use thick bacon. Oh, good. Other places use paper-thin bacon. I think I like thick bacon better. What are you playing? 
It's a new game I downloaded on my iPhone. Is it fun? Yes, I really like competing with my friends. You can compare your scores with other people? That's right. If you get a higher score, then the game gives you prizes. What kind of prizes? Better equipment for your character or even weapons. That game sounds like a lot of fun. It really is. You should download it. All right. Then I can compete against you. In that case, get ready to lose. Have you read the new Batman comic issue? No. Is it out in stores already? Yes. A new shipment arrived just yesterday. I'll go to get it as soon as my shift is over. It's really amazing. I love this series. The villains are so cool. I know what you mean. They have great backstories. I never get tired of reading Batman. I wonder if they will make another movie soon. I like the comics better than the movies, though. Me too. But comics don't have special effects. I guess the movies have their perks, too. Why do you seem so tired today? I stayed up all night watching that new anime. You stayed up to watch it again? I just had to find out what happened next. I don't think it's good to watch so many cartoons. Anime series are not cartoons. Of course they are. They're drawn and colored. Anime is not for children. The stories are more intense. I think you're just telling yourself that. Cartoons don't have storylines like anime series do. Either way, it's just a silly television show. You really don't understand the life of a fan. You sure are buying a lot of snacks. That's because I'm going on a long car trip. Where are you driving to? I'm driving to Comic-Con in San Diego this weekend. You're driving all the way there to read comic books? No, I will be meeting comic artists and voice actors. That sounds really impressive. If I'm lucky, I'll even meet Stan Lee. Is he as famous as Bruce Lee? Stan Lee is a famous comic book writer and creator. I think I'd be more impressed to meet Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee wouldn't stand a chance against Stan's heroes. What are we doing here at the park? We haven't played here since we were children. That's exactly why it would be so much fun. I'd rather go to the movies. Just sit on the swings for a while. I bet I can go higher. You sound like a kid, all right. Kids are the best at having fun, you know. I have to admit, this does bring back some memories. I still think the playground is pretty entertaining. Maybe we should come swing every once in a while. I think I'd be up to do something like that. Cheapest form of entertainment ever. Have you been in your room all day? Yes, I've been staying in my room. It's already evening. What have you been doing? I've been reading a very interesting book. That is exactly why I don't like reading. Why don't you like reading? You could have watched three movies by now. Books are always much better than movies. The Hunger Games movies are pretty good. They leave out a lot of the best details. It's probably because the details were not that important. Details are what make life interesting. Why are you dressed in that weird costume? I'm going LARPing with some friends. What's LARPing? It stands for Live Action Role Playing. What do you do when you LARP? You dress up as someone and you do things in character. That sounds really ridiculous. It's really fun, actually. Don't you feel silly wearing that in public? It's all part of the fun. While you do that, I think I'll go to the arcade. All right, but you're missing out. I love playing all of these old-fashioned games. Me too. Too bad it's so expensive. I wish they'd cost nickels instead of quarters. I think that would lose the arcade a lot of money. Maybe, but it would get them a lot of new customers. Despite the high cost, these games are a lot of fun. Look at these old graphics. It's funny to think they were once considered high-tech. I used to be really good at this game when I was a kid. My brother and I used to compete all the time. Let's see who gets a higher score. Maybe tomorrow. I'm already out of quarters. I don't think I'd like to be famous. Why not? It seems like a good lifestyle. There would always be paparazzi following me everywhere. I guess that would be really annoying. It would be impossible to get any peace and quiet. Not to mention the lack of privacy. I'd love to be in an action movie, though. Why do you want to be in an action movie? Then I could say I was a superhero. I don't think anyone would believe that you're a superhero. They would if I was in an action movie. 
Like I said before, that's never going to happen. I love it when people fall on the red carpet. Why would you like watching that? It's funny to see someone famous fall. I think it's mean to laugh at anyone falling. You laughed at me when I fell last time. Well, how would you like it if you fell on national TV? I guess that would be embarrassing. You should always put yourself in others' shoes. I still think it's pretty funny, though. Haven't you learned your lesson? Yes. If I fell on national TV, I'd be the first person to laugh. I guess that's a good attitude to have. I want to watch a movie. Nothing good is playing at the theater. That's true. Plus, I don't have much money. Do you have a Netflix account? No, I don't. Why don't we go rent a movie? Is it expensive? No, just a couple of dollars. We can buy some snacks too. It will be like a mini trip to the movies. That sounds good to me. Let's go. I'm right behind you. What are you playing? I'm playing a new game I bought yesterday. Is it one of those shooting games? No, it's not a shooting game. Is it a sports game? It's a role-playing game. What's a role-playing game? You play as a character and complete missions. That doesn't sound too hard. Some of the missions take a lot of cleverness. Then I'll stick to shooting games. All that'll do is kill your brain cells. I've run out of money for my iTunes. You used it up already? I bought my favorite artist's album today. You must really like their music. I do. There's no other like it. Have you ever watched a live concert? No, but I hope to someday. Until then, maybe you should refill your iTunes card. I think I'll just use it all up again. Then maybe you have all you need for now. I'm going to look up her concerts on YouTube. That's a better idea. Can you record the new episode of Clarence for me? Why don't you watch it yourself? I won't be home that day, and my internet is down. Okay, I'll record it since I know it's your favorite show. Thank you in advance. It may be a good chance to watch it myself, actually. I really recommend it. It's cute and funny. Have you watched the shows I recommended to you? No, but I will once my internet works again. We can have a day that we get together and watch TV shows. That sounds like a lot of fun. It's a plan then. Have you ever been to the opera before? No, but I hear it's very beautiful. Is it true that the opera is sung in a foreign language? Yes, usually in Italian or French. How are we supposed to know what's going on? The actors also tell the story with their actions. It seems a bit confusing to me. The music is supposed to be beautiful, regardless. Are they accompanied by an orchestra? Yes, a very large one with talented performers. I suppose the music will tell a story too. Yes, music is a universal language.